like a wet, rusty coin for me. <laughs> but you're rinsing the palate. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I 
I think the sour notes are more, more overpowering. I think that's the problem with the IPA too. Like, the, the little flavor is the IPA is overpowering, the hops are overpowering. Yeah, the flavors are very uh, understated in this beer. Pink berry. This I like. Okay, this is flavor. Yeah. And not sour taste. Yeah. But not the sour, overpowered flavor. Getting a case of that, I think. Getting a case of that. Very tart. So the IPA base totally throws me off. Is it IPA? Yeah, it's sour IPA. No, it's... What's the one with it? IPA base. Okay, and the last one is... It's a mixed berry. Very dark color. It's like, it's like a wine, like pork wine. Yeah, it's like a good Get in case of it. Wow, it's like a. I just wanted to know if you guys will be interested in another beer. I don't know. We'll still be able to pick up something to go, right? Yeah, our retail camera will be open until we close at 10. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sounds great. Thank you. Yeah. I see this recording. Do you have like a podcast or like a YouTube? <laughs> I don't share my content to everybody. It's underground. Both people, yeah. underground. underground. We are chosen people. So, right. so let's cheers. Let's cheers with our favorite beers of the day. Mine is again Dragon, Waka, Pama, Double, IPA. Mine is the. Um, what is it? Uh, Pink berry, uh, punch sour ale. Okay, we're gonna finish the rest of it. Bye now! Let's go! It was a kind of a new atmosphere, kind of new style. It's very like, it doesn't look like a bar, it looks like a lunch spot or looks like a coffee shop. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. <laughs>